Get away. Go away. What started as a fun adventure ended with a very grisly discovery. Some teens who were using a TikTok app that randomly generates a nearby location to explore got to the location. And as Amber Cogliano reports, they were shocked by what they found. Randonautica. 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 <laughs> I just went randonauting. I look out my window and there's someone laying in the gutter. <laughs> Randonautica. The app has exploded in popularity among young people during the last few months. It's supposed to be a fun new way to explore the world around you by sending you randomly selected geographic coordinates. These teens are about to make a gruesome discovery. Guys, we found a suitcase at the At first, they had no idea what was inside, which is why they could be heard joking around in the video. Wait, open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. <laughs> Suddenly, as they poked open the suitcase with a stick, the smell became overwhelming, and only then did they realize something sinister might be inside. When cops got there, they confirmed the presence of human remains in the trash bag stuffed inside the suitcase. These were actual people, and I want everyone to know that. Okay, so we want to click generate. Click generate. Start journey. Open a maps. Generated point. It's only a three minute drive. Let's go. Ew, it's taking us up this really scary road. They don't like you being on this road either, apparently. Really? Why? Why? Just like the. Ew, it says. wanted us to go up there. It wants us to walk into there, Taylor. I'm not walking in there. Are you shitting me? This is so far, it wants us to walk in. The park's at the end. You know that, right? It would be easier to go to the Hudson Road and walk from there. Let's do that then. Yeah. Okay. Elementary. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to access it from a different point because apparently the people on this road are uh, not so happy about visitors, which is another scary part. So, I just told, we just drove past the street light and it went out as soon as we went past it and I told Taylor that happens to me all the time and she told me that that means that something evil is following me. So that's great to know. I never knew that. Never heard that. No, Taylor, it literally happens to me every day. Every time I'm driving at night, more than once, they'll I'll it's, drive past them and they'll go out. It's because you fuck with bad juju. I like, don't. Turn and tries to tell me. She's every day asking me if she wants to go film a scary video, do something in a graveyard, and I'm like, no, I don't mess with that energy because you start o opening up these portals and walls, and you you do have no reliability on what you're gonna get. It could be something masquerading is good. You have no idea what you're fucking with. And here I am, her dragging my simp ass out here. Oh God. Okay. If I die, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, she keeps Rats. Oh, I'm gonna shoot this bitch when I motherfucking see you. I don't go nowhere. It's, I think it's on the mountain. It's far. We're right here and it wants us to go way up there. Like, it's so out of the way that it's like dark green. That just means it's straight forest. Okay, we're gonna try to go. This area is under 24 hour surveillance. No horses, bitch. Our best bet might be to either go around the school bus before we can try and access it from this way. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Yeah, me too. Elementary schools after hours just give me bad vibes. Oh, it just went out. Yeah. I told you, dude. I've I got bad like juju. This. 
the light just went out. Went out. Did you catch it on camera? Yeah. Yep. Motherfuckers. Oh I'm telling you, this always happens to oh, me. Ooh, that made my fucking heart drop. Um, okay. How far is it saying we have to go? That way it's saying. <laughs> and here's this big container, yeah. which is right there. Yep. It's saying it's right there. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Should we try it? Turn. Like that close? My tummy. Is it that? Ew. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I just saw glowing eyes in the dark. Can you guys see that? Maybe. Do you guys see a light coming from the forest? Where? See? Where? Tiernan, what are you talking about? Like up. In the, in the brush. The more I look, the more my eyes are tricking me. Is that the deer up there? Oh. I just saw I just saw the shine. It is. <sighs> it's the deer. Uh, bad fucking vibes. Schoolyard, like school buses at night give me the creep. It's so stinky, baby. <laughs> like that looks what? so. There is a light. I told you. I fucking told you. Up there. Looking at. Up there. Do you see that light? Fucker. Turn back on, please. Turn back on. Turn in. What the fuck? No, I said turn back on, please, and it turned back on. Ew. What the? Oh my god, I can't fucking breathe. Holy fuck. I can't catch my breath. She's gone. <laughs> They're glitching. Do you see that? Yeah. They're glitching. Lights? Yes. What's wrong with me? I thought that was normal. Why is the barrels lit red? I don't know. It's freaking me out. It's super weird. They're usually blue. Ew. Oh. And the red. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Are you filming them? Yeah. They were purple and they just turned red. Yikes. <laughs> As we rolled up. What the fuck? <laughs> they aren't color changing. Here we, where we were. Do you have your sage? No. Act like, can you go in the house and sage this stupid little bitch before she comes in? Yeah, go in the house and take it and sage her. Please. Turn in some fuck with some Ouija boards or something. She's a little like little I did it like last year alone at 3 a.m. Nothing, nothing happened. Push the fucking buttons, my nothing guy. happened. I didn't hear and not talk to anybody. Nothing ever responded to me. Yeah, at the moment. Is that a Bible camp? Oh. And that whole thing with the girl finding her friends joking around and going down to the pier and finding a fucking suitcase with chopped up body parts. I'm surprised this fucking app didn't catch a case after that. Like, I'm and serious. That, they, and that was a true thing that well, they... Yes, it was true. It was like no a one, news, like I'll even pop some news articles in there. Jesus. But like, the weird part about it too is like, who's giving these coordinates? Is it someone who works for the fucking app? Is it just auto-generated? Is it people can go on there and put in coordinates for themselves? Like, who... Like, it was literally right where they found the suitcase. Like to a T. Okay, so this is a vineyard. Okay, this is someone's fucking property. So. Is that barbed wire? How far? Like, let's walk down a bit this way. How, how long until we're parallel? If we get there, it's the owners. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm being anxious. But I heard a little girl's voice. Why is there so much garbage here? There wasn't garbage the entire time. Are we here?
the fuck was that? You hear that, right? What? You hear what? You're crinkling. It sounds like crinkling. This one's shine down there, shine down there. That's us, and that's the thing. It's over there. I hear crinkling. Like something's walking. Oh, hey, dear. I'm getting bad thoughts. You hear mice creaking or. You yeah. cr hear mice making noises or bats, something high pitched. Well, it's on private property, so. Keep that in mind. You, you, you. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take more on the spot. Okay. Come down, come down, come down. Did you hear that? Something we were... was following us or it's... running beside us. I know I keep seeing, I think, I keep thinking I see something walking at the end of the trail. Oh, so many noises. I thought I just heard someone humming. Yes, I sure did. Listen back on the tape and see if you can hear it. You're looking dumb. I just heard someone humming. It sounded like something was running behind us. Yes! <gasps> Fuck that. What? What'd you call me? Those were never on my car before. What are they? Fingerprints? Handprints? I just washed this window because of the mud I got on it. Dude, why are they so weird? It's weird fingerprints, like smudgy handprints. I cleaned my whole car. Yeah, you just washed your car. Yeah. I was in the car with you. Yeah. What the f Fuck, dude, what the fuck? Nope. When me and Taylor were running, it fucking sounded like somebody was running behind us. Like, I don't know how to explain it, Taylor. No, it sounded like it was on all sides of us. Uh, like, it felt weird in there, too. I don't even know how to explain it. I sound stupid. No, it's creepy as hell. I guess we're gonna go to one more. I wanna just find something. I saw the lion fell in love with the lamb. Ew. What a <laughs> sick, masochistic lion. See you when we get to the last one. Hopefully we find like an alien or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I was just saying how I get bad vibes every time we pass this field and I have since I was a little kid. Before we deciphered exactly where the point of energy is supposed to be, it's now telling us that we need to park here and get out of the car. Can't swear. Into the fucking field. <laughs> it's a good sign. Alright, we have to go around the fence to get there. I didn't know that like lights going out meant something was following you. And now I'm just getting really freaked out because it's happened twice to me. Fucking weird. Man. I don't like this plastic wrap. Couch. Ew, there's a plastic bag up there. It's almost there. Into the unknown. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay, how much further? It's not much further. It's over here? Yeah. Look at all this shit. A pillow. What? They're filled with paint. I can't. <sighs> Holy fuck, I keep hearing shit. Wait, dude, I wouldn't. Is someone whispering over there? I see what's in here. That does not sound good, dude. There's something, like a ball of something in there. Look. It sounds like a fucking head. Like, that's weird. I wanna know what's in this bucket. They had it all up on here, like they're coming back, so we should probably go. I know it. It smells bad, dude. Taylor, if there's something heavy in there. I, this look like, this looks like blood. Yeah, I know, that's look what here. I'm saying. Looks like blood, dude. That's what I'm saying, whoever came here is probably coming back. 
That's blood, dude. That looks like fucking blood. I love this. Here's probably coming. Ah! There's blood on me. Taylor, what is that? It's paint, Taylor. <gasps> Look inside. There's something in it. I don't know. <sighs> Taylor, what if there was something in there? <sighs> then I would have blood on my face. That looked like blood. Like that's. Should we open one of the pop things? And pull it out. I'm not doing that one. I don't know if I want to smell whatever's in there. What is that? I think that's blood. That looks like dried blood. That looks like blood. I'm not kidding. Heck, they had all four things of that blood shit on top of the paint can. I did not get a bad. I, I can't speak. I get a bad feeling about that. I feel like a weight's been lifted off me getting out of that field. I'm a million pounds lighter. I cannot believe you opened that. Isn't that your new shirt too? Brand new. <laughs> I opened this shirt today. The things we do for love. The things we do for love. You smell like pain. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Do you have hand sanitizer? You saw the consistency of it when we poured it out, right? Yeah. Like, you know what blood, like, I don't know if you know. I don't know, I only know how it looks like in the movies and every single, every single brand of fake blood is different. Yeah, but like, that's what blood looks like in large quantities. It looks dark, it looks rusty, it looks brown, and it's really thick. My stomach hurts. I know, me too. I don't understand the paint. Why would someone- There was probably something inside something the paint, dude. It, when we were rolling it around, it sounded like a fucking head was inside of it. So I'm absolutely covered in paint. It's all over my brand new shirt that I opened today. And it's all over my face. Watching the footage back, and it literally looks like, like a we prop. did it. It looks like a prop, but Tiana, Tiana made a good point. She said, you know how the whole Lionsgate portal or whatever opening or something, what it was, was it? last night. Last night. There was a fucking sleeve of someone's shirt sitting on top. What that's if what it was? It was like a. Dress that's what I'm saying. Like, what if it was some weird ass love spell or weird ass ritual, or she was wishing like fucking death on an ex, and that or was she. his shirt. He or she. Like, it could have been anything. It could have been anything. Been any kind of but animal blood. it looked set up. The paint can felt like there was something in there. We never really got the lid off. The dress shirt. The bottles of. And the bottles Let's were, say blood sitting one, on top. Except for one, all of the bottles were sitting perfectly on top of me. Yeah. If anyone watching has any intel on a, what that would be, ritual that yeah. might be, please put it in the comments because we're curious. We're gonna go home and do research and see if anything pops up. I feel gross, and that's another good point. I'm saying, what if it's not human blood? What it if could, it's it could, sheep, would, goat? It could have been. I, that's what I would bet. It would be animal blood. That's my. We can only hope, like, even though that'd be shitty still. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean that they slaughtered it. No, but still. It was just weird. Like, you have to the be bottles some... weren't dirty either. They were Never all clean. perfectly clean, so it's not like it was dumped in a vat. It, had, it, it, it hadn't been there for it long. It had been, like, poured in there. It hadn't been there for long. No. There was no dust. There was nothing. And that's a dusty-ass fucking field. Yeah, like, everything around there, like... It had been there for a long time. Yeah, it, it was, like, junk and garbage, and it looked like someone had camped out in there. Yeah, the paint can stood out like a sore thumb, and it looked like a, like a prop. The paint can looked like whoever had put the lid on it, on it had dirty hands, and that was the only thing that was dirty about it. There was maybe one little dry spot of paint on the side of it, and other than that, it was fucking white as shit. But there was, like, black shit. paint all around the side of it, which is what Which is weird, because it was not black paint, it was gray paint. I'm gonna have a fucking shower, Tan's gonna have a shower, and maybe we'll come back and talk a little bit after we research and hopefully find something. Um, but yeah, I need a fucking break. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I think I know where all of this might have started. When I was younger, I used to visit this abandoned insane asylum all the fucking time. A lot of bad shit happened there. A lot of people died there. 
Being the stupid bitch that I am, I used to bring my Ouija board and try to contact literally anything. Ever since then, I've suffered from sleep paralysis and night terrors. My night terrors would be so vivid and fucked up that I would wake up in a panic, fully sweating, heart racing, and feel like I'm being watched. And mind you, every time I would wake up, it would be either 3 or 3.30 in the morning. They got so bad that I would stay up until the sun came up because it was better than having to go back to sleep and relive whatever the fuck that was. My night terrors often consisted of my family members dying in the most brutal, horrible ways, or they would be of a dark shadow. But this dark shadow didn't just come to me in my night terrors, and that brings me to my sleep paralysis. I've been suffering from sleep paralysis for a long time now, and almost every time I see this tall, dark figure, sometimes he rummages through my bags, stares at me from the foot of my bed, or just stands in the corner, watching me. I've researched sleep paralysis a lot, and a lot of people report seeing the same dark figure, so what the fuck does it mean? I never ever suspected that something may have attached itself to me until Taylor brought it up. So what do I do now? Do I talk to a medium or somebody that knows about this kind of stuff? Or do I just leave it be? I don't know what I'm gonna do. What can I do? That was so dramatic.